Hey guys, it's Andrew Escovo here, back with another review, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Sleepy Pod Clicket Harness. Now, when you have your furry four-legged friends riding with you in the car, you want to make sure they're safe and restrained. Now, your standard seat belts will not protect them in the event of a crash. There's a number of different safety harnesses on the market, but only Sleepy Pod carries a harness that has been crash tested and proven to be safe in the events of a crash. So what makes Sleepy Pod's Clicket Harness actually work? Well, their harness is a three-point harness that connects to multiple anchoring points in your car. I'm going to show you in a minute how it connects to your car, but first let's go over how to put the harness on. So this is what the harness looks like without it being attached to our little fuzzy friend. And there are three snap points in which you will connect with. One, this one will be around the neck. Two, you crisscross around your animal once, and then you crisscross again. Now let's see what that looks like when you're putting it on your pet. So we take our little fuzzy friend here, put the vest on like so, turn him around, we take the neck strap, click it, take one of our harness, make sure it's not tangled. and strap it diagonally. Take the other harness and strap that one diagonally. Now you can adjust these straps on multiple places. You want to make sure that this ring right here, which can also be used to hook up to a leash, is in the center. You want to make sure that these rings are facing each other on the same side because you can accidentally hook it up backwards and you don't want it to be backwards. And tighten it where it is appropriate but not too much because you want to leave some room to put your fingers through like this and I'll show you why in a moment. So that's how you hook up the Sleepy Pod Click It Harness, and it's not that difficult. Your Sleepy Pod Harness will come with these two things right here, which are designed to anchor into the safety anchors built inside your car. Now, if your car is built before 2003, it might not come with the particular anchor system that you would need to utilize these, in which case Sleepy Pod has separate instructions for situations like that. So my anchors are in here. We put this in, and it clips in like that. Take the second one, clip it in like that. And now we will connect this anchor to these D-rings right here. So this is why we wanted to make sure both of these rings here were facing the same direction. We're going to sit our little buddy down and we are going to put this in like that and that like that. Now I've got one of our D-rings and we do the same for the other side. And this is just looking a little awkward because I have the camera in the way. And now we have two anchoring points for the harness. Next, we take the seat belt here and we slide it through. Enough slack. And we click it into the normal spot in which you would have your seat belt. Pull it all the way out so that it can't 
go farther and it's nice and taut. And it's safer to make sure these straps for the D-rings are as taut as possible, even though it may be more uncomfortable for your pet, it is safer to do it that way. And now, you have got your Click and Harness completely set up. So here's what I think about the Click and Harness. Yes, it's a little cumbersome to get all completely done, but once you've practiced it a few times, it becomes a really simple and easy process. It's one heck of a peace of mind knowing you've got the only safety harness for your animals that have actually been proven to work. The materials themselves, I feel, are pretty high quality. The metals are strong, the materials are well made, the stitches are all well done. I feel a lot safer having my furry friends in the car with me now with these. So, yeah, I would recommend them. Now granted I've never been in a car accident with an animal in a car and I hope to never have to be in that scenario but I can rest assured knowing that if I'm in that particular scenario my little furry friends will be much safer. So yeah it's definitely worth the investment. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it helps. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, show your friends, and check out my other videos.